I've had some confusing experiences with the MSc Status Match program and this video is designed to share that information with you and hopefully help you avoid some of the things that I experienced. Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Mahmoud. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my MSc Seascape 2023 video playlist from end of February to beginning of March featuring the Port of Calls in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Georgetown, Cayman Island, Costa Maya, Mexico, Nassau, Bahamas, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, in addition to MSC's Ocean K, Marine Reserve, Private Island, and Miami, Florida. Why am I making more cruising videos when there are already so many professional content creators out there? First, I'd like to thank all the professional YouTubers making cruising content that helps people like me get ready for cruising. The pros are better than me for several reasons. They have better professional equipment, they have more experience speaking on camera, filming, editing, and mixing broad strokes narratives with details. My approach is going to be different. I'm going to focus on details. I'm going to get into the weeds, show documents because I don't have one platform to show documents. My videos might be shorter or longer depending on the content and they'll be filled with information on first time cruiser anxieties. Sometimes there will be no narration. I hope you enjoy the difference in my approach. Let's get started with this video. So I experienced my confusion with the MSC Status Match program before I sailed on the MSC Meravilia out of Port Canaveral in March 2022. I'm about to sail on the MSC Seascape in March 2023, and I'm combining information from both those years to share with you. So start off with the MSC Cruises USA.com website you go to manage bookings and that's where you'll have information about the Voyagers Club. I'm going to show you the Voyagers Club and the status match program are related. You go to view all. So this page tells you about the Voyagers Club. It tells you the membership levels. You can read these later. I'm just going to go through them really quickly. And the important part is that even though status match is connected to Voyagers Club, there is not a specific description except right here MSC status match program you can do an enroll now but if you go to these FAQs it won't tell you about the status match program when you go to the first FAQs what is it then you have the terms and conditions which I think everyone should read and an important part of the Voyagers Club keeping your points like they expire if you don't go on a cruise once every three years so definitely take a look at the terms and conditions so this is the only place where it says status match so far and you can go to enroll now. If you didn't catch that and you heard about status match through maybe a YouTube cruiser website or a page on status match, then you might be tempted to go to the search button type stat status match. And when you do that, you get the six results. The first three you wonder like why they're the same. I checked these three and they all go to the same page, which is the same page as if you click this button. It's the enrollment page. So let's go to the enrollment page. Here's a status match. You should read all of this, but the important thing is that if you're a loyalty member in another cruise line hotel or tour operator, they will allow you to bring your earned benefits from another loyalty program with you and instantly enjoy comparable or even greater privileges on your future MSC cruise sailings. Okay, if you wanna find out what that means, you have to go to the bottom of this. There are terms and conditions for MSC Voyager Club, which you saw on the other page I showed you, and then you have the status match hyperlink. Let's click on it and see what happens. So then this goes to the promotional terms and conditions for cruise deals. So you have to work down this page and obviously I assume that this page changes as di different deals change. You have to look for the status match. They have a section on MSC Voyager Club exclusive offers, which is I think a little bit different than just being part of signing up for the Voyagers Club. You'll see a video that I did on my playlist about getting the government employee discount, which I did. 
underneath that is status match. So in March 2022, I didn't know about this detail in this writing, so I was very confused. Later on, I'll show you a video from back then when I describe my experience and my confusion. But here's something important. Airline benefit cards are excluded. Matching is carried out by comparing, as much as reasonably possible, the level of benefits guaranteed from the external travel program benefit cards with those offered by the MSC Voyager Club cards. Conversion will be executed by MSC Cruises based on objective criteria and may only be done once per customer. You can register the Status Match program by completing the online registration form available on the website. It's not possible to register during the cruise. This is an important line, but I think it's very buried. Limited Limit one Status Match enrollment per customer. If guest has benefit cards with multiple companies, she he will have to choose which card to use to take part in the promotion. Customers are required to include a scan or a screen capture of their current external loyalty card. This is a very important part of the enrollment process that's not clear if you don't read this page. Right now it's February 2023. I'm getting ready to go on a March 2023 MSC Seascape cruise. Back in March 2022, I don't recall having access to this information. I can't confirm that this particular page was up and running a year ago. And you will see and I will show you that this information is not clear on the main page. There is nothing in these line that says you can only use one loyalty program. It's not clear here. Here you're going to enter your personal information, your address, your current loyalty card information. It's singular, but hey, it's still not clear that you can't enter multiple loyalty programs in here. So for example, I'm going to pick Hilton when I register. And it has a drop down menu for its specific levels in the Hilton program. but there's nothing to tell you that, oh, you can't do this over and over again for the other multiple options all the way down to Wyndham Hotels. That's not clear here. And it doesn't say it's only limited to one in any of this information here. Another interesting feature here is that the status match to me at least is very obviously considered to your Voyager Club loyalty tier but nowhere here do they say put in your Voyager Club number that's a little weird to me I'm not showing you all my information but I am filling out the status match program after a year that I've learned about it one of the things that you got to be careful if you already have an MSC Voyager Club member please enter your full name as you did during the MSC Voyager Club enrollment process, or you could simply have asked people to put in their Voyager Club number. Uh, so you can see that I did attach a picture, a JPEG of my Hilton ID. This, my name here is obviously my signature, and let's see what happens. You get this little check mark here, and it says, thank you for registering for MSC Cruiser Status Match Program. Your submission has been received and will be reviewed shortly. Stay tuned to the email address you provided for further details. And then it's a sales pitch to do other things. And further above, it just indicates success. So a year ago, when I was doing this website and I was entering multiple loyalty programs, I was getting a similar result, a similar final page once I entered it, and then nothing happened. Based on what I saw, the lack of information on that website, I assumed that this would be cumulative points across multiple loyalty programs. I did not realize it was limited to one. I had not seen that very small information in the promotional terms and conditions. So what I then did in February 2022 is I typed up a letter and I emailed it to MSC existing reservations at msccruisesusa.com. I might have gotten that email from a website or I might have gotten it from customer service. And I just wanted to make sure that my tier status was changed before my upcoming cruise on the MSC Meraviglia at that time. I tallied the numbers and I made an assumption that I should get diamond membership. 
once I've done all of this, I've received no information or no update from MSC. A few days before my MSC Meravelia cruise, I found uh, through a website that the correct email address was MSC Voyagers Club at MSC Cruises USA.com, and I sent them the same email and attachment, the letter, again. I'll give you a brief sense of that February 2022 letter that I sent to MSC. I said the date that I was entering the information in which I went to the website and entered the information, which was 2021. I just gave them time and I realized that my loyalty points weren't transferred over. I wasn't increased in tiers, that all I saw were the points for my first MSC cruises. I, again, I had no reason to believe that this was not a cumulative point loyalty program transfer. I had no written information to that effect. So I added up my existing points at the time across the different programs I was submitting and I wrote it that I thought I should get diamond membership. And I was just checking in to see that I would get that membership level once I boarded. It, you can't see it, I did a little chart in which I put the travel partner program, my membership ID, and I put the points that I had at that time. Again, I was just working off on the very brief information I had on the website. You see, this didn't work because what you're supposed to do is it's limited to just one transfer program. Before I show you a March 2022 onboard video I did about the status match program and what I found out on board, I want to recommend that if you do submit your loyalty program information and you get to a screen like this where it says status match success, take a screenshot of it including the date and the time that you submitted it. I approached the Voyagers Club desk to understand the situation with my points and status match. I brought a printout of my email and my points. I spoke to the cruise consultant. The issue is that it is not a matching of points, it's a matching of status level. So if you have X status level with another company that's on their approved list, then MSC will take a look at that and figure out what MSC status level to place you at. So it is not a point to point match, it's a status or level to level match. That information is not clear on the website at all. I had to come on board for someone to explain that to me. This person also encouraged me to call customer service. There is no person on the ship that is from the department that deals with status match program. There is someone from Voyagers Club, but there is not a person on the ship that deals with status match program. So you have to call customer service if you're willing to call their customer service line to see how this will apply. Also the policy or procedure for how they match and how they how they look at your level of the different company to what level they'll place you with MSE is not clearly written on the website and it's not in a document that I'm receiving on the ship. So I'm not being exposed to anything in writing about how MSE does the calculation from one company's levels of loyalty to MSE levels of loyalty. So while I'm on the cruise, MSC Voyagers Club did receive my email. They attached a number to it, part of their tracking system. And on March 8th, I'm already on the cruise and they write back to me, dear guest, thank you for contacting MSC Cruises regarding status match. My apologies, but we did not receive a completed application for your status match. Please click on the provided link to complete and upload your information. Please provide a card or online proof showing your full name and loyalty status. Please note we can only accept requests via the website. Thank you kindly, Voyagers Club, and there's an email thread. Obviously you can see there are certain errors in how this email is presented. There's a little bit of lack of professionalism in this email, but the key thing is they're not responding to the attachment and they're not saying you try to enter multiple programs. You should not be doing that. You should only enter one program. So overall, at this time, back in March 8th, 2022, this email was unhelpful in terms of customer service. Earlier, I showed you the end of my filling out the online status match program 
form. I used my Hilton Rewards account information, loyalty program information. I did it early in the morning of February 14th and then about six or seven hours later at 12 noon p.m. they got back to me MSC Voyagers Club at MSC Cruises USA.com and they said that they had uh, enrolled me in Status Match and that my membership tier in the Voyagers Club is now the gold membership level. So this is the only record that you'll have that shows that the status match program information went through and that the changes from status match have transferred over to your Voyager Club tier membership level. One of the lines in the email says that you earn points with every purchase on board and before the cruise starts. So at every point, you should communicate your MSC Voyagers Club membership number at the time of every booking, which also can be every purchase. That's a little interesting a reminder because once you get Voyager Club membership, you get that printed on your cruise card. This is for my first cruise. This is for my second cruise. And and it says Voyager Club on it. So those indicators that you're a Voyager Club member should already be there when you're making purchases and when you're scanning your card either to buy excursions or onboard material purchases. I want to emphasize the importance of saving that email as documentation. You can understand the relationship between the approved status match that you received and your Voyager Club points and tiers. I made a mistake. I should have done a screenshot in my Voyager Club account information of what my previous points were, saved that, and then compared it to the after. But I'm logged into web browser right now. I'm in my MSC account. I'm in the tab that says MSC Voyagers Club and it shows you your points and I'm keeping this calculator up here to hide my account number. But basically after the email it says that I am at gold membership level. Normally at the bottom of your Voyager Club membership page it lists your past cruise point details and when you expand them it'll tell you why you received the points you did on your past cruises and this calculation happens after your cruises end. I didn't save a past screenshot, so if we look at my past points, 2,300 for my past cruise. Now I'm at 4,300, so they just gave me 2,000 points for Hilton being my highest loyalty program points out of all the loyalty programs I'm a part of. That's how they calculate it. It was a 2,000 point bump to get to gold membership. This process so far went smoothly for me. I can't say it's going to be as smooth for you or if you'll get the same bump in points more or less than me. That information is kept internal to the MSC company. I hope this video helps you understand the status match program better and to how to utilize it to the best of your ability and leverage your points on other programs. YouTubers have said is that MSC is the only one that has this type of matching program. Hopefully this will work out for you. Let me know your experience in the comments below or email me and let's see how this all works out once I'm on my cruise with my gold level membership.